The idea of renovating a local park is bringing out many emotions. Listen in. No one wants this project. Go have a beer somewhere else. You stop it. Leave him alone. How dare you treat this man like this? How dare you treat this man like this? How dare you? How dare you? Definitely a lot of strong emotions when it comes to J.C. Park. Yeah, those emotions are running high and the city wants to renovate the park while a majority of the community wants the park to stay the same. Neighbors are worried their voice is not being heard, prompting a meeting today to share their voices. Wink News reporter Haley Zarconi is live from J.C. Park. Haley, what are neighbors hoping to accomplish during this meeting? They're hoping to share suggestions to keep their JC Park the peaceful place that it is. I'll give you a live look at what the meeting's looking like right now. Everyone's been told to bring their lawn chairs and their morning beverage, sipping coffee and giving each other ideas of what's next for their park. What can they do to keep the park the way that it is as this new design plan is coming about? This week, in a 7-1 to one vote, Cape Coral City Council voted to approve the design concept of the park while this park is not a part of the several parks whose renovations are covered in the GO Bond. The city is looking to make changes. The outlines for the plan include adding boat ramps, a band shell, removing the invasive Australian pines to plant new trees, and a bistro with a bar to name a few. Those park goers who've attended the city meetings have been outspoken about keeping JC Park as is. Many say they feel city council is not hearing their pleas. This week, I spoke with Cape Coral's city manager. He says city council's job is to take all these pleas and ideas in for consideration when making decisions. Their role is to look at what all the citizens need and what all the, the businesses want in the city of Cape Coral. And sometimes uh, what individuals want conflicts with that, uh, those community values. And I think this is a, an example where that, that might uh, be the case. And this conflict of what everyone wants out of this park is what sparks this meeting that you can see here today. There are over 20, possibly 30 Cape Coral JC Park goers who've all came here today to talk about what's next for this park while the city has approved these concepts of the design plans. There are many more decisions to be made and they say there's more input or places for the city to put in input as well as these park goers here. Live in Cape Coral, Haley Zarconi, Wink News.